Yoga Vidya needs your support because of discrimination against Hindu ashrams in Germany. Hindu ashrams have been denied the rights that are naturally granted to Christian monasteries and communities. This threatens thriving ashrams in Germany. Some background information. Yoga Vidya is a Hindu non-profit association founded in 92 and 1995. Yoga Vidya operates four ashrams, various yoga centers, has trained over 20,000 yoga teachers and more meditation teachers, spiritual advisors and Ayurveda therapists. In the main ashram in Bad Meinberg, over 200 members of the spiritual community live there including people with Indian citizenship. The day is filled with Hindu rituals from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m., including puja, homa, satsang, recitation of holy scriptures like Bhagavad Gita, Kirtan, etc. We teach yoga, Ayurveda, meditation, Vedanta. We teach the holy scriptures like Upanishads, Viveka, Chudamani and more. The ashram can accommodate up to 1,000 guests. It's the biggest Hindu institution in Germany. For many Hindus with Indian citizenship, Yoga Vidya ashrams have become their religious home. In Germany, religious communities, also called religious cooperatives, but religious communities have special rights and duties. According to German basic law, religious communities autonomy in many regards. In particular, Religious community have the right to create religiously oriented living and working arrangements that are not subject to labor law. In order to be recognized as a religious community, there are certain criteria. You need to have a basic belief system. For Yoga Vidya, it is Yoga Vedanta as part of Sanatana Dharma. We believe in Brahman, Maya, Ishvara, we believe in karma and reincarnation. We believe that Atman is one with Brahman. We believe that moksha can be attained and life should be geared towards moksha. And of course, many more things which are written in the sacred scriptures and what Swami Shivananda has taught. Second, there has to be some organization and there has to be some way of joining and leaving the community, which we have. Thirdly, you need those who have special functions like priests, we have Purohitas, we have Pujaris, we have Achayas and we have the spiritual directors. Fourth, there have to be binding rules that everybody abides by. In our ashrams, it's of course participating in satsangs, is practicing the spiritual practices, sadhana of our tradition, serving guests, serving guru, serving God, study of the scriptures, and living a pure vegetarian lifestyle with no alcohol, no drugs, no smoking, and so on. This also must give meaning. We have the meaning of reaching the moksha. You can say we'll fulfill all the aspects of religious community. Religious communities in particular can also form so-called spiritual cooperatives, also called religious cooperatives. The legal definition is a religious cooperative is a community based on religion under equal living conditions in which common religious practice Individual religious practice, working life and private life are interwoven and all life is geared towards religion. Examples of spiritual cooperatives are Catholic monasteries, Protestant brotherhoods, Protestant deaconesses community and Buddhist monasteries. Special regulations apply to members of spiritual cooperatives. They are not considered employees. Labor law does not apply to them. In Germany, there are special regulations in the social security codes on how members of a spiritual cooperative are socially protected. According to these rules, 
Yoga Vidya pays social security contributions for the Sevakas. Yoga Vidya fulfills, according to different legal opinions of professors of major German universities, fulfills all the conditions of a religious community as described in the basic law of the Federal Republic of Germany and in the commentaries of it. Therefore, the Sevakas and the Yoga Vidya Ashrams fulfill all the conditions of a spiritual cooperative as prescribed in the social security codes. Several expert opinions of various renowned professors of universities have confirmed this. Yoga Vidya has sought several expert opinions from renowned university professors, has gotten letters of reference from Hindu organizations in Germany and India including the German branches of VHP, HSS, and of a former Indian ambassador, and more, all confirm this point of view. The problem now is, the Federal Labor Court has made a judgment that Yoga Vidya is not a religious community. The Yoga Vidya ashrams cannot be seen as religious cooperatives. Therefore, the ashram sevakas are to be categorized as employees. They cannot be treated as members of a religious cooperative. In the written judgment, the federal labor judge gave the following arguments. Yoga Vidya allows members of other religions to visit the ashram. Yoga Vidya does not ask to formally renounce other religions when becoming part of it. Yoga Vidya does not require its sevakas to formally leave the former religion in case they have been members of these communities before joining the ashram, which most haven't. Of course, the sevakas are demanded that they believe karma reincarnation, leave a Hindu lifestyle. But the formal leaving of the other has so far not been part. He also said, Yoga Vidya assumes that followers of other religions can also attain salvation. All that would be a sign of multi-confessionality, multi-religiousity, and therefore it could not be a religious community. And also they said, Yoga Vedanta is spirituality, not part of a religion. Vedanta basically is not religious, but it's just a philosophy. We believe this is definitely a discrimination against the Hindu organization which Yoga Vidya is. Because tolerance and openness is part of Hinduism, the argument of the judge would mean that Hinduism cannot be a religion. For us, of course, in the question is whether other government agencies will follow this judgment or not. If they follow this judgment, this would mean it will not be possible to have rules demanding from ashram sevakas to follow ashram rules like no meat, no alcohol, no smoking, like participating in daily satsangs, follow the sacred teachings of Bhagavad Gita and follow Yoga Vedanta. In Germany, an employer cannot make rules for employees demanding them to, to follow religious disciplines. It would also mean that sevakas would have to be paid according to labor rules and according to the hours they have worked. Basically, ashram rules according to scriptures where ashram seva is not to be paid would not be possible. It would also mean that Yoga Vidya would have to make big back payment to federal social security agencies on the basis of fees for employees since 2015 and not on the basis of fees for members of religious cooperatives. There are different laws regarding employees and members of religious cooperatives like Catholic, Jesuits, etc. The amounts could endanger the existence of Yoga Vidya. We have lodged a constitutional complaint with the Federal Constitutional Court. Our lawyers recommended that we get letters of support from major Hindu organizations in India. If major Hindu organizations could support us, this might help to convince government authorities and the Constitutional Court to look deeper into the case and not just follow the judgments of the Labour Court.
Therefore, it would be extremely helpful if organizations, individuals, as well as government agencies could support us. We are also grateful for any advice, any help. The main point is, can Yoga Vidya be called religious? To clarify this point, Hindu organizations as well as Indian government could be of help. Thank you. I want to conclude with some sacred verse. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityo Mamritam Gamaya Om Shanti 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 Bolo Satguru Shivananda Maharaj Ki Jai